Hello students. You can see that the leaves of these trees are moving, are swiftly moving. What do you think is the reason of this movement? Yes, there is the presence of an external force that makes the leaves of the trees moving and that is the wind. Okay students, so you can understand. Today I am going to teach you the poem Wind by Subramania Bharti and which is translated from Tamil by A.K. Ramanujan. Hello students. So now before delving into the detail of the chapter, I would like to give you an introduction of the poem Wind. Now what this chapter deals with? It says that wind is a very powerful phenomenon. Here in this poem, the power of wind is portrayed and mainly the destructive power of the wind. It is being linked with the adversities that human beings face in their lives. It is symbolic, the wind is symbolic of the adversities and the challenges that comes in our lives and how we are going to deal and cope up with them. The poem also reflects that the wind destroys the weak persons and the weak things, but it helps the strong people to emerge victorious and more stronger in life in the circumstances. Now we are going to go in detail of the poem. I will read the lines of the poem. Listen to it. Wind, come softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. There, look what you did. You threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at wings. So you look at the lines. Wind, come softly. The poet is communicating and talking to the wind. The wind is as if a human being. It is personified. It is as if like a little boy full of youthful spirit and naughtiness. So the poet is telling, wind, do not rush, come softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Do not come in such vigor and hurry that the shutters and the panes of the windows will break. Come softly, wind. Don't scatter the papers. The papers often scatter away due to a huge blow of the wind. So the poet is requesting the wind not to be naughty and mischievous but come slowly and softly not to create any ruckus. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. There, look what you did. So now the poet is telling the wind came and in spite of requesting the wind scattered all the papers and the books and everything. So the poet is telling look what you did. You threw them all. I requested you so many times, wind, yet you threw them all. You tore the pages of the books that are very much fragile. You brought rain again. It again started to rain. So you are rain bearing winds. It came and rain again started to pour down. You are very clever. You are a very clever boy. To poke fun. To poke means to mock. To poke fun at weaklings. Weaklings means a person or a thing who is weak. So the poet is telling the wind that wind you are very clever enough to mock the weak people and the weak things. The next part. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood. Crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. The wind cord winnows and crushes them all. So you see, the poet has used the literary device of repetition. And why? Because he wants to highlight the fact that the wind has a power to destroy everything that is already weak and fragile. So the wind is telling frail crumbling houses, weak 
already uh, starting to topple down badly constructed houses crumbling doors the doors that are very badly carpented crumbling rafters that is the roof of the houses everything that is weak and fragile and badly made tends to topple down and break and fall down in front of huge heavy blowing wind be it bodies be it wood be it lives and be it weak human beings so here the inner meaning is that even weak human beings you know they lose they defeat in front of challenges in front of adversities the wind god we knows and crushes them all so the wind god here wind is compared to a god the wind god we knows what do you mean by we knowing the farmers separate the grain from the chaff of the wheat similarly the wind god is being compared to a farmer who is separating the weak minded people and the weak things from the stronger ones and by how the weak things topple down and the weak things gets defeated lose in front of huge winds and gets crushed so this is how the wind god separates the stronger ones from the weak ones so here it is also a metaphor the wheat is compared to people and the farmer is being compared to the wind god so the wind god that is the farmer is we knowing that is separating who the wheat how fro- the grains from the chaff similarly the weak people from the strong people so, the next part he want to what you tell him so come let's build strong homes let's join the doors firmly practice to farm the body make the heart stay fast do this and the wind will be friends with us the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day so see what the poet is telling the poet is telling instead of fighting let's be careful how can we protect ourselves from the wind he won't do what we tell him in the beginning the poet has had requested the wind to come softly yet the wind came and destroyed everything so the poet is telling the wind is not going to go as per our orders and commands it is going to do whatever it wishes to do so let us let us be strong enough and fight the wind how let us build strong homes let us make the doors firm let us make our body very much strong and active by exercise let us make our heart full of valor and courage to face any kind of wind that is the challenges in life do this then the wind will be friends with us how make strong houses and strong doors if we if we become courageous if we have a strong uh, bent of mind and spirit then the wind will not be able to affect us in any way rather it will be friends to us and how how will it be friends to us look what the poet is telling that do this and the wind will be friends with us how and why the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish you all know that when there is a fire if we provide oxygen that is in the air that is wind the fire breaks out more and more so this is science what the poet wants to say here is this that the wind has the tenacity to weak out to destroy weak things and weak fires but if a person but if a person ha- has a very steadfast courageous heart and is strong enough to withstand the wind it defeats to you know it defeats to make that person defeat 
it defeats to make that person topple down and break down rather it makes friends with that particular person to help that person flourish gain popularity be successful more and more and thus we praise him every day thus we make friends with the wind so how do we make friends with the wind by making ourselves strong not to topple down in front of wind and why does wind make friends with a strong person because with the help of wind we can make ourselves more and more strong it helps us to flourish more and more it helps us to shine more and more what is the hidden meaning over here the hidden meaning is that the wind equals to the challenges and the adversities that comes in our lives if we break down in front of the challenges and the adversities then we are gone but if we remain to be very strong and courageous in the face of adversities that comes in front of us it will help us to become a stronger person in life and thus help us to become more and more successful overcoming all the obstacles and the hurdles in life thus we can use wind as a weapon for destruction or for our own glory that depends upon us how we are going to use the wind hope i am able to make you understand the chapter i'll provide you the question answers go through that thank you so much bye for the day